Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. I actually did a review on Audra Eclair's Fragments 1 book, which is also on my channel. So feel free to go check that out if you haven't already. In today's video, which you probably guessed by the title, I am looking at Fragments number two, the second book that I have from Audra Eclair. It came with her wonderful business card, which I don't know if you can see that is this like super lovely metallic business card and her Instagram and stuff just there. It comes with a little thank you mini print, which features the woman on the front of the book. So already I can tell that this is the same size as Fragment Number 1 and it's got the same beautiful velvet feel to the cover. Very different design on the front, but the same sort of colours like the pinks. So I'm just going to go through. She just got like a thank you for the support. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this. I've ordered it in March when that's when the pre-orders went up. Uh, it's just so beautiful. I love that these are full page um, spreads here. Whereas like the previous book that I have has a white border around everything. I love that there's more, it seems to be like more color, like more um, finished pieces in amongst the sketches. I'm going to go through this fairly quickly because I don't want to spoil it too much. If you want to have a nice decent read of this book, you can get it from Audra or Claire's website. I think it's Oniberry. I'll put the link in the description below. So this is just like my first thoughts kind of going through. I love there's a lot more colour. Just from kind of like memory, my first impression. There's some spreads like this that have a bit more space, which is nice. And just like, re it really feels like a scrapbook type of sketchbook, like it really goes with the title of the series, Fragments, it's bits and pieces, it's pencils, it's a leaf, <laughs> it's Posca, it's ink, um, as well as some more finished paintings here. A lot of this is content that I haven't seen before, um, obviously it's behind the scenes sort of, of sketches from her sketchbook, some digital pieces there. Some kangaroos. I feel like this has um, that real zine quality to it. It's not a super polished book. It's sort of like a journey through her sketchbook, her, her bits and pieces of her life. Um, I love this. I just love the way that she's able to do her digital stuff and still keep the quality, like the same essence as her paintings. Some lovely gouache stuff here. That of course is a Black Lives Matter print. It's very different to the first one. It's got some photo collage stuff happening here. It's very, very interesting. I love her characters as always and the way that she draws female faces. It's just so beautiful and unique. Looking through this book, it's just really enjoyable and I'm, I can't wait to look over it again and again, as I still do with the first Fragments book. And I think this is something that she should be really proud of. It's <laughs> got some Animal Crossing stuff in there. Um, it's just a nice book to kind of go through. Wow, I love this. I haven't seen this before. It's just so varied and interesting. So I feel like you could look this book over and over again and always find something new. Probably at a page that you've you've looked at a few times. A little swatch there. I believe that's like looks like some Poscas or something. It's really interesting. I feel like I'm seeing a different side to Audra's art. Like I would never have guessed that to be something that she would have drawn. It's um, things that are a bit outside her, I guess her usual style that she puts forward on Instagram and social media. But again, I mainly watched her on YouTube. I still follow her on Instagram, but I feel like since she's left YouTube, her art has grown a lot. There's a lot more experimentation happening some more character design stuff pushing pushing those shapes. That's a lovely piece. So 
so yeah even some fan art stuff in here some more digital stuff than I think is in the other fragment one I'm just gonna quickly go through the end there a little snapshot of our studio so yeah, that's a quick look at Fragments Number 2 and my first impressions. If you like Audra's work, I highly recommend getting this book. It's something you can flip through again and again, which is what I do with the first one here. They complement each other and they go well together. I don't know how much, how many pages this is compared to the previous one. Um, but it's definitely, I think, it, it fills up the pages a lot more than this Fragments. This is, I think, the first print of, of the book that I have, so I'm not sure what the second print of Fragments number one looks like. But yeah, they're both beautiful books. Go check out Audra's YouTube and Instagram if you're if this is the first time you're seeing her artwork. It's absolutely beautiful and really interesting. If you want to grab a copy of this book, go to her website, which will be linked down below. And thank you again for joining me in this video, having a look at some wonderful art books. Um, if you are new here, I do other art videos. Feel free to go check out my channel if there's anything that interests you. Um, hit subscribe and like and all of that stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, keep drawing.